The best tripod for your smartphone just got better. If you're in the market for a tripod for your smartphone, for your iPhone or for your camera, this one is very exciting. Make sure to stay till the end. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro and I'm super excited to have you all. In the past, I have already reviewed a tripod that looks very, very similar to this one, but this is the pro version. This is the beefed up version. And in this video, I will show you a little bit what is different to the original one or to the basic one. And overall, I will just show you how it functions and ultimately we will find out if this is the right tripod for you. So first of all, before we go into the details of this tripod, we need to find out if you actually need a tripod. We live in 2022 and if you're watching this in the future, then maybe even more so than today, most people are shooting handheld or on the other hand, they are shooting with a three axis gimbal. And sometimes I even think that the time off tripods is over. But is that correct? Well, in my opinion, not so much. For me also, I'm mostly shooting handheld or with a gimbal, but for certain scenarios, a tripod is an absolute must have. And in case you wanna take filmmaking or smartphone filmmaking more serious, I would definitely recommend that you have something like this in your toolkit. So when you decide to order the tripod from Sandmark, this is what you get. You can see this is pretty small and this will be the size that it has when you're traveling with it. And inside of this carrying case, you get of course the tripod itself. On top of that, you also get a little mini ball head and on top of that, you also get a little phone mount. So now let's build this together. So when you wanna start using it, the first thing that you need to do, just make sure that you screw on the mini ball head, just spin it a little bit and that's fine. And at the top here, you have a little quick release plate. So what we will do now is we will just unscrew this little quick release plate. And this is what we can actually use to put onto our camera, or in case we wanna use it with a smartphone, we will put this onto the phone mount. So this is the phone mount. Let's just screw that on very quickly. So this is what it looks like after you have mounted the phone mount onto the quick release plate. And now in case you wanna use it with your smartphone, just spread the clamp, make sure that everything fits nicely. And now we can already start to mount this onto the tripod. Make sure to screw it in securely. And now you can actually start filming with a tripod with your iPhone. So let's talk a little bit about the functions of this tripod. First of all, at the top here, you have a very good and very sturdy mini ball head. Um, you can just unscrew it here and then you can, you know, you can just change the orientation at the top here. You can also open this here and then you have the ball head that you can just move around. And like I said, like I showed you before, in case you just wanna pan around, then you open up this one at the top here and then you can just pan to whatever you like. Something that I really like about this tripod is the way and how you can make it bigger, the way and how you can extend the lag. So this is what it looks like, like I've showed you before in the most minimum size in the smallest size. And in case you wanna make it bigger, you just unscrew this knob here, and then you pull on it, secure it back in. And now you can do this for all of the different legs. And you can do this three times and in total, you can make this up to a size of 160 centimeters. So it's not the biggest tripod, don't get me wrong. There are definitely tripods out there that go higher than this, but for most scenarios, especially in case you wanna you know, take this with you when you're traveling, when you're, I don't know, shooting some vlogs or so on, then I think this is a very nice height. And compared to the regular version of this one, which only is like, I don't know exactly, but about one meter, I think this is very, very nice. And in case you just need a little more height and the legs are not large enough, you can also unlock the screw up here and then you get this extra extension pole to make it even a little bigger. A question that I know that I will be getting is, can you also use this tripod for vertical shooting? Because like I said, we live in 2022 and social media content, vertical content is getting more and more important. And yes, of course, we'll just unlock the screw here and then you can use use the ball head to make this a vertical setup. And this works just fine and super easy to switch from vertical to horizontal shooting or vice versa. So should you get the pro version of the Sandmark tripod or is the regular one good enough? 
I think it very much depends on what exact videos you want to make with it. In case you only want to use the tripod for, let's say, time lapses, for example, or long exposure photos, then I think the regular version will do the job just fine. In case you also want to use it to, to film people, you know, to film interviews, for example, or statements, or I don't know, whatever you might want to film, then I think investing a little more and getting the pro version is absolutely worth it. For me personally, I have both, and most of the time I'm actually picking the pro version over the regular one, even though this is bigger and even though this is heavier. When it comes to the ball head and all of that, I think they are pretty much identical or absolutely identical. So there is no difference between that. And I have also used heavy cameras like the 1DX Mark II with a big lens with both of these tripods and both handle it just fine. In case you would like to learn more about filming with your smartphone, we have just launched a brand new webinar where I shared top 10 mistakes that most beginner filmmakers make when they are filming with their smartphone. So definitely make sure to check it out. It will be the first link below that like button. And other than that, I just wanted to say a huge thanks to Sandmark for sending me this unit. They did not sponsor this video, but they provided this unit for me. So in case you have any more questions, make sure to let me know, head over to Sandmark, leave them a comment. And in case you want to know which is the best smartphone gimbal in 2022, is it the DJI OM6 or the Smooth 5, make sure to watch this video over there.